Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I want to talk about a couple sliders that are in Lightroom that I think that many people that are new to Lightroom pretty much ignore. The two sliders I'm referring to are in the brush tool and they're towards the bottom. They're flow and density. I'm going to talk about flow first. A good analogy for flow is the nozzle on a hose. Let's say you're going to water your lawn. You bring the hose out and you press the handle of the nozzle all the way in. You're letting out the maximum amount of water. Well, flow is pretty much like that nozzle. When you have it at 100, it's akin to having the handle of the nozzle pressed all the way in. So you're going to let out or produce or brush in the maximum amount of whatever adjustments you have above it. So in this case, let's keep it simple. Let's bring exposure down to minus four. So if I have flow at 100, if I do a brush stroke, I will brush in a maximum amount of that exposure adjustment, in this case, minus four. And I'll just do it, and there it is. Now, no matter how much I keep brushing over it, I won't make it any darker because I just let out the maximum amount. Well, if I bring flow down, let's say to like 66, that's akin to not pressing in the handle of the nozzle all the way. So then when I do a brush stroke, it's not as dark. But if I stand there with the hose, with the handle pressed part of the way in, but I keep watering the same patch of grass, eventually I'll let out the same amount of water as if I had that handle pressed all the way in. So if I keep brushing over that same area, it will get darker and darker until it's as dark as it was when I brushed it with flow at 100. So flow is kind of a, just a nozzle. It's just going to let less of the adjustment out with every brush stroke, but it is cumulative. Now the difference between flow and density is density is more like a stereo that has a volume limit switch. Some stereos have this, where you could set the maximum volume that the volume control will uh, allow. Uh, so uh, in this case, let's say density is at 100, flow is at 100, and I brush again, I'll get that maximum darkness and it won't get any darker. There's nothing else to do about it, right? But if I bring density down, let's say to like 53, now when I do that brush stroke, it's not letting as much noise out or it's not as loud, right? But it's not cumulative. So if I keep brushing on that, it's not going to get any darker because it's the limit. That is the limit. It's not going to let any more out. Now you could use combinations of the two. So you could have the nozzle of the hose not pressed all the way in and you could have the stereo not um, loud to go very loud and then it's just going to get so dark and then it won't get any darker, right? So you could use combinations of the two. Now density is, comes in handy when you just want to make sure that you just don't overdo it. Um, for example, in a real world, world situation, if I want to brush sharpness in on something like the face of this macaque, I would typically keep flow around 50 and density around 50. And in this case, I'm not going to bring exposure down, but I'm going to bring sharpness up and maybe I'll add some texture as well. And then what I'll do is I'll brush in let's say once on the uh, macaque's face, and that adds a certain amount of that sharpening and um, texture to the macaque's face. But because I had flow down, that brush stroke wasn't maximized. And because I have density at 49, it won't allow me to go past a certain amount. So I could make it a little bit darker, or in, when I say a little bit darker, I mean I could add a little bit more of that sharpness and texture and when i hover over it i meant the red uh, overlay is a little bit darker but it won't overdo it so i could make sure that i don't over sharpen uh in this case the macaque's face i'm just adding just enough sharpening uh to you know set the way i want it let's put it that way now if i go to another image here um i like the bl the cool blue sky but I think the water is just a little bit too cool. So on this image, I want to warm up the water slightly, but I just 
I don't, I'm not sure how much. So what I'll do is I'll reset this. I'll double click on the word effect. So that will put sharpness at zero texture at zero. And what I'll do is I'll put density all the way up, but I'm going to bring flow way down like, like, I don't know, 20. Then what I'll do is I'll go over to the temperature and I'll bring that way up. And because I have flow so low, what I could do now, and I'll add some feathering too. What I could do now is when I brush in, it's going to just add a little bit of warmth to that water. And then I could maybe do a little more. Oops, I kind of moved my, my button there. I don't want to do that. But I could add a little more and I could pick. Well, it's a little cool here. I could add it a little more there. So it doesn't have to be totally even. I could get a smaller brush and come in here. Um, it's really cool over here in this corner, so I could just kind of add a little more there. So you could see how you don't have to have even brush strokes across everything. I could add more warmth over here where it's needed and less warmth up here where it's not needed. So when I do a before after, there's before and there's after. So that's the way you could make flow and density work for you. Um, sometimes it it well it's it may take you time to get into the hang of it because um as you probably noticed um it's not really as far as flow is concerned it's not really uh linear meaning um in this case let's reset this and if i bring exposure all the way down again and if i have flow if i bring flow all the way up to 100 and just paint a line right here it's that dark but if I bring flow down to 50, where it would imply that it should be half as dark and that it would take two strokes to make it as dark as the line above it, you could see it's, it's not. And then I do two strokes and it's still not. And then three strokes and then four strokes. So it definitely isn't linear. So it does take a little while to get used to and get the hang of. But you'll find, I believe, that you'll be better able to uh, apply brush settings to your image if you really start to understand how flow and density work and then be able to apply it to your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.